Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 71, simplified path. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I have taken an example, which covers all the conditions for the problem that is required. So we need to convert this string path to a canonical path. So the canonical path has some conditions. So there should not be double slash between two directories. Here A and B are directories and this should be separated with only one slash, right? And whenever I detect two dots, which means I need to go to the parent directory. I need to ignore B and directly jump to the previous directory of B, right? That is A in this case. So we are going to use stack to solve this problem and we will see how we are going to do this. So initially I will split this path string based on the slashes, right? And if I split it, I will be getting empty space for a single slash and I will be getting A. And when I have continuous slashes, I will still get a single space, right? Then I will get B. Then again, I will be getting empty space. Then I will get two dots. Then again, empty space, then C and again, empty space, right? So whenever I have consecutive slashes, I will be getting only single space, right? When I split based on slash. So we will use split function to do this. So here I have taken the splitted path, right? This will be in a list. Then I'm going to use a stack now. So initially I will check whether it is an empty stack or not. Yes, it is an empty stack, right? Then I will pick the first element. So initially I will pick the first element that is going to be empty string, right? First I will check if it is a space or it is a single dot or it is a double dot with an empty stack right so when i have a something in stack and if it is a double dot then there is a separate thing we will do first we will see for the empty space so whenever i detect an empty stack and one of these three special strings that is empty space or a dot or a double dot right and simultaneously the stack should be empty if that is the case i will just ignore i will not append anything right then i will pick a now I, again i will check and there is something in stack or not no it is not right it is a then i need to check whether it is one of these three special characters and it is an empty stack no, it is not one of these characters. So I will just directly append A, right? Again, we have space. Then I need to check whether it is a double dot or not, right? No, it is not double dot. And it since it is also a space, I will not do anything. I will pick the next one. Now it is B. Again, I need to check whether my stack is non-empty and it is a double dot right so since it is not a double dot and it is not one of these three things I will just directly append the character B again we have space I will just ignore then I will have double dot now so the double dot means I need to go to the parent directory I need to ignore the previous directory and I need to go to the parent directory, right? Now I will check whether my stack is empty or not. If it is not empty and it is also a double dot, which means we need to go to the parent directory. So I will pop the previous directory and I will keep the parent directory A, right? So basically we had A and B. So A is the parent directory of B. 
so double dot means i need to go to the parent directory from b and i will ignore b right now i will again going to take the next element from the list that is empty space i will just ignore then i will pick c since this is not any special string i will just append that directly to my stack then again i will be getting empty space i will ignore then now i need to join these directories in a path format canonical path format so i will join them based on the format that is i will put a slash in front of the directory a and i will separate these two directories with the slash again and i will not put a slash at the end of the path that is end of the last directory i should not put a slash in that way i will join at the end and i will return this as my answer right that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i will be having an empty stack then i will split the path right i will split the path based on slash right then i will iterate through the path i will pick each and every element from the path right now i will check whether i have a non empty stack and the element is equal to a double dot right if this condition is true i will pop the last element from the stack then i need to check whether the current element is not equal to any special strings that is it should not be a dot and it should not be a space and also it should not be a double dot right if my stack is not empty and if it is a double dot i will pop the last element so if this condition is true which means if i have a character i will append that to my stack right finally i will join based on the given format that is slash then i will put a slash between directories then i just join the stack right that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient so the time complexity will be order of n and space will be order of n as well thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future also check out my previous videos and keep supporting happy learning cheers guys